Welcome to Milo's quick step-by-step -step installation guide. Our goal at Milo is to democratize machine learning. This install gives you access to Milo for Education, which is a suite of AutoML and data science apps. After this quick install, you will have access to five powerful on-premise data science apps, which includes our powerful Milo AutoML application. These tools do not require any machine learning expertise, and there is no coding or software engineering needs required. As noted, this is all an on-prem app, meaning there is no cloud computing. So basically, all of your computation and all of these Milo runs are being done on your own desktop or personal laptop. If you do need more advanced tools for your professional needs, please contact Milo ML for the pro version of Milo, which is not being provided here. You just need the following three things in order for Milo's suite of apps to work on your Mac or PC. The Docker desktop app, the Milo ML Docker image, and you just have to have some kind of a web browser, Safari, Chrome, etc. Basically, running Milo is like playing a video game disk on your game console. So what do I mean by this? Your Docker desktop app that you've downloaded will function like your game console, Milo's Docker image that you'll download will function like your interactive video game disk. And finally, your Safari or Chrome or whatever web browser you'll choose will function like your monitor. Okay, so let's get started. Installing Milo ML's suite of apps on your computer is a one-time, simple four-step process. So what are these basic four steps? You first have to download and install the Docker desktop app. That's what's going to be your basically your game console. Then you download the Milo image file from the Docker Hub site. And that's basically your video game disk that you're going to be loading inside Docker desktop app. And then you install the Milo image into the Docker desktop app. So it's preloaded, almost like you're putting a video game disk within a video game console. And then finally, you can create a shortcut within the Docker desktop app for future ease of use. So let's go through this very simple installation process together. Okay, first you start by downloading Docker desktop and installing it on your computer. To do that, you have to go to docker.com and download the right Docker desktop for your given operating system. Please note that there is a different Docker desktop for Windows PCs and Macs. Once the Docker desktop is downloaded and installed on your Mac or PC, you double click the Docker desktop app for the first time and you should see no images and no containers unless you've had Docker desktop before with previous images in there. Please also note that Windows users may need to refer to Docker desktop documentation to get additional softwares installed, such as WSL2, to make Docker desktop functional before they can actually use Milo. What I meant by the Docker desktop not showing any containers or images is as I'm showing here, whereas you can see the containers site shows no containers running. So those basically just refer to apps that you basically have shortcuts for. And there are no images as expected since this is the first time that we're installing this. Most importantly, the Docker desktop app should be in the running mode or be green for you to be able to proceed and install the Milo image files in it. What do I mean by this? What I mean by this is the green banner in the bottom left, which I'll show in the next image. That's that green banner with the small white whale sign in the bottom left. In this next step, we're going to be downloading Milo for Education file. And to do so, you need to go to the Milo for Education site through milo-ml.com slash milo-foreducation as noted here. Once you're in the site, you're going to read the information about the product. And most importantly, you need to read and agree to the terms of the educational license as noted. Once you've done that, you're now allowed to click on the 
Docker Hub link that will take you to the Milo team slash AIO, which is all in one Milo image file. Now we need to load the Milo team slash AIO image into the Docker desktop app. You do this by copying the Docker pull command as I'll show in this image. And once you've clicked the button, you'll get a pull command copied message popping up. Once the pull command is copied, you now need to open the terminal on your Mac or your PC and paste that in the line within the terminal. Before opening the terminal, make sure Docker Desktop is running in the background and shows the green whale sign as noted earlier, as I'm showing here. Then you go into your terminal, and within the terminal, you paste that pull command that was copied earlier, and you press return, which then starts the run and loading of the Milo image within the Docker desktop. This may take several minutes, so please be patient. After the loading is finished, you should see something similar to this which shows that the actual file was now loaded within the Docker desktop. Now go back to the Docker desktop window that has been running in the background, and now you should be able to see the Milo team slash AIO image file within the Docker desktop images, as you can see here. Now that you've done this, you need to create a container or another name for an app for this new Milo for Education image so that it's linked within the Docker desktop and can be used with ease in the future. You do this by moving the mouse cursor to the right of the Milo team slash AIO file image that you have. And then you click on the run button as I'll show you. And this opens up a new window which will allow you to name the container and assign the port where you'll be assessing Milo locally through your web browser. So what do I mean by this? So you go to the run button and you then click it and that opens up this new window as was I mentioned. And that gives you an option of optional settings and you click the optional settings. So please do not click on the run you click on the optional settings and within optional settings, you have two things that you need to do. One is you need to name the container and you can just call it Milo. And the second thing is you assign a port and you can just put in something that's not usually used oftenly like 4771. And then leave the rest blank and press on run. And that's what basically it looks like here. So Milo container name Milo, then you put in the port name 4771, and you click on run. And then that would now have created a new container for you, as you can see here. And now you're ready to get started. As you can see, the Milo container app is ready to use. Note the buttons work like a DVD player, so play stop symbols, if you will. To work with Milo, make sure that the play symbol is clicked. So again, it's green. And open your browser, so like Safari or Chrome, and then type in the port information that you assigned the Milo to. In this case, you had called it localhost colon 4771. And then press return, and that should launch Milo for you. But a shortcut also exists within Docker Desktop, which we recommend. And that shortcut is very simple where what you do is you press on those that link right there and a new set of options opens up and one of which is open the browser option. And by clicking the open the browser, you go directly to the browser and you can get access to Milo directly and get going. One last important thing to mention is that after this first setup, you won't need to repeat this process. Your future access to Milo will be directly through the Docker desktop app. So just open up the Docker desktop app, then play the Milo container and launch Milo as described before. That's it. For more information and guidance, please see Milo's user guide and visit Milo-ML's website. Best wishes with your machine learning journey. Congratulations on this major step.